A couple of months ago, DuckDuckGo announced a tracking protection service for Android. The feature was being built directly into their browser application and everyone was required to join a waiting list before being given access. So a few weeks ago, I was finally allowed to use this new feature. And today I'm going to give you an overview of my experience of this feature so far. So I installed the DuckDuckGo browser on my daily driver. So it is a phone that I have been using for a while now. It has a lot of the applications that I have used on a daily basis installed on here. And while I may not be the most active phone user, since I don't have hundreds of apps and games installed and running in the background, I do use it a fair bit and was impressed with the results that I was getting. So for those who have yet to install the application, you can do so from the Google Play Store right now. So you just go to the Google Play Store, search DuckDuckGo, and install their privacy browser application. From here, we can open it up. And you're going to want to tap the three dot menu up at the top right so that we can dive into the settings and scroll down a little bit because this is where you're going to find the app tracking protection feature. So as mentioned, I had to join a waiting list before I could begin using this. I was stuck waiting quite a while and that may still be the case today, but the company may also be more free with the invites and they will surely open up the feature to all users in the near future if they haven't done so already. So once enabled, we go in here, once enabled by this toggle, which we can turn on and off, the feature works by tapping into Android's VPN system. This results in your internet traffic being routed through DuckDuckGo servers, so keep that in mind. Some people will be more willing to do this if it means that they can block all of these tracking attempts. So after you're using the feature for a while, you'll begin to see this page fill up with activity. And again, I don't have that much installed on my phone, but you can see that I have four apps which have tried to track me in one way or another over the past week. DuckDuckGo has been able to block 114 of these attempts. So scrolling through here, you'll be able to tap into the listings of the activity you see. But once there, you're not going to see much information about the tracking attempt. Just that the app used a Google service to track me in this case. Or that Comscore tried to track me twice when I used this app. So if you're curious about how you're being tracked on Android, I definitely recommend giving DuckDuckGo's new app tracking protection service a try. I wouldn't say that it's the best way to block this type of stuff, but I do think it's ease of use and accessibility will make it a feature that is very useful for many people.